Okay, we're recording. What's up, folks? Dustin here. Welcome to North Carolina. It's good to see y'all. Sorry we're not in the gym. We're here on the balcony, me and G. We're going to do an awesome workout. Um, very minimal equipment, but it'll be very uh, challenging because it's going to be a single leg squat. So I'm going to pull this up on Wattify here. Uh, we have single leg squats. We're doing five sets of five reps, same uh, set and rep scheme we've been doing. A single leg squat, uh, some would call this a pistol squat. Very, very difficult to do, but there's so many ways that we can scale this by providing a little bit of support, whether it's with your hands or whether it's with your stance to where you're preferentially uh, doing that squat with one leg more than the other, as in one leg is working harder than the other one. And we can adjust that based on stance alone. So with this movement, we don't really need to load it up. It's more of if the variation that you're doing is easier, we just need to make it that variation a little more challenging. So we don't even need to add uh, weights to this. So we'll do five sets of five uh, there. I'll get my timer going. We'll probably do about a minute or so uh, in terms of the sets. Then after that, we have 21-15-9. So anytime you see 21-15-9, you know that that's typically gonna be a shorter workout and we're going to want you to push the pace. So 21 reps of each exercise, then you do 15 reps of each exercise and nine reps of each exercise. So today we have plank shoulder taps. Excuse me, I'm about to sneeze. It's gonna leave me, nope, <coughs> bless me. All right, so plank shoulder taps, we want to get in that plank position. So what that would look like is make sure, G, let me know if you can see me. Can you see me there? You're going to tap your shoulders. Now, obviously, like push-ups and everything else, that to make that easier, you just get more vertical. Give me a thumbs up if you could see me there. Okay, you can see me. Um, so we'll be doing 21 of those, so just 21 taps, so one, two, three, four, five, all the way to 21. Then 21 sit-ups. With that variation, you can do it on a couch or do it from the ground. I'm probably going to face this way. Here at Stronger Life, we put the feet together, knees apart. We come down, swing our feet forward, and tap your toes. If that is challenging, you're going to straighten your legs, keep your feet together, Swing your arms, come forward. If that's tough, then we can do a crunch. All right, so 21, 15, 9, uh, same thing. So we have the, the plank shoulder taps, we have the sit-ups, and then we have air squats. So we're already going to warm up the squat with the skill uh, session with the single leg squats. Now we'll do air squats, feet about shoulder width apart, toes pointed out as you go down, your hands are coming forward, and as you stand up, your arms are at your side. So nothing too new. The single leg squats will be new, but that workout at the end will be very quick. And it'll get you huffing and puffing rather quickly. Let's make sure we're good here. All right, so let's warm up the squat. We'll just get right into the single leg squat piece. So we'll start off, try holding on to a rail, a door frame, uh, you know, something like a table, chair that's pretty sturdy. We're gonna use that to help warm up this squat and get a little deeper. I'm just gonna hold on to this railing right here. All right, so what we're gonna do is feet about shoulder width apart, toes pointed out, hold on to this, and we're going to go down. I want you to hold the bottom for a count of three, and then you'll come back up. We'll do five total. Just take your time. The first one's gonna be kind of tight. Go down. I'm not doing a ton with my legs. I'm basically just using my arms. Count of three, and then you come up. All right, that's one, let's do that again. Good. Two. I need to scoot step out a little bit. There we go. Three. Now on these last two, shift your weight left to right once you're in the bottom. So go ahead and go down as low as you can, and then just kind of shift your weight left to right. Come back up. And then sit one more time. Down and shift your weight left to right. Good. All right, then stand up. Let's do some hurdle steps. So you're standing straight ahead. Just pretend like you're bringing your foot up and over a hurdle that's right beside you and then back. Let's do 10 of these. Four, five, six, 
seven, eight, and let's switch it. And so you're trying to keep your shoulders pointing straight forward and all the movements kind of coming from your hip. Six. So you're getting that knee real high. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, let's go back to the squats. I'm gonna change my view here. All right. Back to the squats. I'm gonna hold on. Same thing. I'm gonna do five repetitions. On the bottom, I'm gonna shift left to right. Now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna step a little bit further back, probably as far as my arms will let me, um, so I can keep a more upright trunk. So same thing, I'm gonna go down, and then just kinda shift left to right, keep looking forward, and then come back up. We'll do five of these. Good, two. Three. Down, four, one more, five, okay, and then come up now, let's do 10 jumping jacks. All right, so you can either do a full jumping jack or step out and then bring your hand up. Let's do 10 of those, 10 jumping jacks. All right, then once you're done with those jumping jacks, we'll come back to uh, the door frame or wherever you're holding on for the squat. Now we're gonna start to make it more of a single leg. So what, how I'm gonna do that is to put myself in a position or a situation where one leg is working more than the other. So what that's gonna look like is I'm still gonna be able to hold on to have my hands help. And let's say I want to focus on my left leg. I want my left leg to work harder than my right. I can take my right foot back behind me and let my toes be on the ground. The more of your foot that's on the ground, the more support it provides. So you could do this foot flat, or you could just have your toes on the ground. And so from here, I'm gonna hold on and then think of the same thing, sitting down. And you may not be able to go as low and that's fine. We'll do five of these. Remember, if your toes are pointed down, it's it's gonna make that front foot work a little harder because you can't put as much weight through your toes as you can your whole foot. So five there and then switch it and do five on the other side. Good. Yeah, that's good. You gotta get upright torso. Make sure that that front foot, that front heel or the whole foot is staying flat on the ground. Once you're done with that, just kind of shake it out. Do a lap around the room once you've done five on each side. So we're just gonna work our way to where we're taking away some of the support. That's how we're gonna progress this. All right, so I'm gonna do five on each side again, but this time I'm only using one hand. So let's say if I'm focusing on this left foot, my left foot is forward, I'm just gonna use the right hand for support. I've got my foot, my right foot behind my left foot with the toes in the ground, so it doesn't provide too much support, but a little bit, and I'm going to sit down. Five here, and then we'll do five on the other side. Five, all right. Shake it out, walk around a little bit. Here's some other things that we can think about. A chair can be helpful if this is real challenging. We can sit to a chair. So I've got this set up here. I can kind of sit and then come back up. Another thing is the further your feet are apart, the easier this will be. So let's say if I'm just doing, I'm focused on my left foot, if I have my right foot back here, 
that gives it a better position to push off from. It's almost like a lunge and that can make it a little easier. And then from here, if I want to make it harder, I can just bring my foot right up to the back of my heel like this. And that's really making the front foot work pretty hard. Kim, what's up? How are we doing? We're warming up the squat here. All right, so let's do this. Let's do one more kind of warm up set. I'll, I'll talk Kim through uh, the variation to try out. And we're gonna do five sets of five. Not gonna have too much rest here. Um, and then we'll go from there. So Kim, what you need is a, uh, something to hold on to, like a door frame or chair or whatever, something that's kind of sturdy. Yeah, just make sure it doesn't tip on you. So you'll wanna be behind it and just make sure it doesn't tip because you're gonna be holding on to it with a decent amount of, of force. And so what our stance is gonna look like, because these are single leg squats, is I'm trying to give preference, preference to one side. So I'm loading up one side more than the other, but I want both of my feet on the ground because this is a really tough exercise. So what we're trying to do is put the back foot behind the front foot. So I got my right foot back and I have my, the back foot, the toes are in the ground. That way you're only allowed to give a little bit of, of help because it's kind of hard to push through the toes. And so from here, I can hold on with my hands and I just pretend like I'm sitting down in a chair. Now go as far as your knees are gonna let you, but try and do a few on either side. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's good. And so I was telling G a little bit ago, the ways you can vary this is if you want to make it harder, you can take away the hand support or go from two hands to one hand, or you can move the feet closer together. So right here, I've got my right toe, big toe, right behind my left heel. And right when I do this, it's basically, you know, 80% of my left leg doing the work and 20% of my right leg is helping. I can make also make it easier by getting more distance between my feet here. So this is much easier than if I do this or my toes right behind my foot. Okay, so let me get my timer here. Is audio still good? Thumbs up if audio is still good. All right. Okay, let's get, let's do about a minute. Minute 15, let's do a minute, we can do a minute. All right, so five reps on each side, all right? If you want, you can think of starting off with an easier variation and then we can progress it by removing some of the assistance from the arms or bringing your feet closer together. That's how we'll think about it. We're not gonna worry about adding weight to this one. All right, thumbs up if you're ready. Kim's ready, G's ready. All right, let's do this five. Reps on each side, starting in three, two, one. All right, go. What's up, Shelly? I'm teaching a class. So my friends. Yeah. Yeah, they're my internet friends. <laughs> my, uh, one, of, one of the people here just came out on the deck below and gave me the hook like, who the hell are you talking to? <laughs> And, okay, about 25 seconds rest. All right, if you wanna progress it, bring the feet in closer together, keep that back toe up, or take away, you maybe go from two hands, maybe just to one hand, or you could take both of your hands away if you would want. All right, five, three, two, one, and go. I'm gonna take away my hand support this time. It's also a good balance exercise. Three, four, and five. All right, 30 seconds. <clears throat> All 
It's our second set. We got three more. <coughs> 20 seconds. All right, 10 seconds. It's our third set. Try to make your variation a little more challenging if you're able. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. three, four, and five. All right. Go out 30 seconds. We got two more sets. These are tough. Single leg squats are no joke. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. All right, three, two, one, go. Four set. Two, three, four, five. All right, switch it. four, and five. All right. 35 seconds. Last set. You can go for more reps, so maybe double your reps, try 10 on each side, or make your variation harder and go for five. 20 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds. All right, five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, I'm gonna double my rep. So I'm gonna go for 10 on this one, two, three. Keep trying to look forward. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. All right, switch it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Good work, y'all. All right, grab a drink of water, walk a lap. Man, it's hot out here. I heard it's pretty hot at home. Was last night pretty brutal? The mile was it super hot. Looked like y'all had a good time. All right, so. As your heart rate's coming down, take some deep breaths. We are going to do a 21-15-9 Metcon. Let me review it one more time. I'll pull up Wattify here. 21 plank shoulder taps, 21 sit-ups, 21 air squats. Then 15 plank shoulder taps, 15 sit-ups, 15 air squats, and nine plank shoulder taps, nine sit-ups, nine air squats. So this is something we want you to go fast very very fast so let's go through each of these so you got a good variation and then we'll get rocking so plank shoulder taps here's what you want to think about if you're not comfortable getting on the ground just use a chair couch whatever to where you can be in a solid position where my shoulders line up with my hips and my knees are my feet it's a straight line and from here i can tap left to right now the big thing with this, with plank shoulder taps, is you want to get your feet wide, about wide as your shoulders. If your feet are super narrow, you're gonna feel yourself rocking all over the place, but if you get a wider base and your feet are about shoulder width apart, you're gonna be more steady. 
All right, so whether you're on the ground or on an elevated surface, go ahead and do five shoulder taps on each side or 10 total, making sure your feet are wide, about shoulder width apart. That way you're more stable. Okay, so five of those on each side. And then stand back up. There you go. You don't want your butt up too high or too low. You want to right in line with your shoulders and your feet. Good deal. If this bothers your wrist, if your hands are straight forward, think of pointing your hands out to where your thumbs are pointed straight forward and that may be a little easier on the wrists. Um, so from there, we're gonna flip over and do sit-ups. All right, so let's go ahead and do five sit-ups. Like I said in the beginning, the variations are feet together, knees apart. That's the kind of the full version. Swinging my feet forward, touching my toes. If that's challenging, my feet, my legs go straight and I'm trying to reach forward as far as I can. If that's tough, I'm bending my knees and doing a crunch. If I don't wanna get on the ground, then I can do the same thing from an ottoman or a deep couch. Go and do five of those, five sit-ups. Once you're done with that, then go ahead and stand up. All right, good deal. After that is air squats. So we've already warmed up the squat, the single leg squat. Now we're gonna bring both feet back into the equation. A couple things with the air squats are you want your good squat stance so your feet are about shoulder width apart, maybe a little more. Uh, toes are pointed out some to where you're still able to have your knees tracking over your toes. The thing if you, if you point your toes out too much, when you go down, your knees will go inside of your toes and we wanna try and avoid that. So that's where you gotta play around with your stance. As you're going down, your hands are going forward, and as you stand up, your hands come to your side. Now you can help yourself by getting a couple books. You don't want them too thick. Two of them, put both or one on either heel. I just have one, but on either heel, that's gonna prop your heels up a little bit. And for a lot of people, allow them to go a little deeper into the squat and it's a better experience for them. So you can play around with that. So go ahead, do five air squats. Really focus on the timing, getting your arms out in front of you as you go down. There you go. Good deal. Looks good, looks good to me. All right, once again, 21, 15, nine. Plank, shoulder taps, sit-ups, air squats. So plank, shoulder taps, each tap is, is gonna be one. So one, two, three, four, five, all the way to 21, and then 15 and nine. All right, thumbs up if you're ready to go. Ready to rock? All right, let me get my timer here. You're just going as fast as you can. Then we'll do a little stretching afterwards. Start with the plank, shoulder taps. Let's go ahead and get where you're gonna be for the shoulder taps. 21 of them, and then 21 sit-ups, and then 21 air squats. Okay, starting in three, two, one, go. You can also go on your knees if this is too hard to have your knees off the ground. Okay, after the plank shoulder taps, we have our sit-ups. Use those arms to build some momentum that can help you come forward. One, two. Oh. 
All right, use those arms. Okay, after your sit-ups, you're going to air squats. All right. Okay, once you've done 21 air squats, 15 plank shoulder taps. Good work, y'all. We are two minutes, 40 seconds in. This is gonna be a quick one, just keep pushing. After the shoulder taps, go to sit-ups. Okay, on to air squats. We're over halfway. Okay, how we doing? Good work, y'all. One more round, nine shoulder taps, nine sit-ups, nine air squats. Let's go, keep up your pace. We're four minutes, 30 seconds in. Let's knock this out. squats let's go keep it up y'all are almost there two three four five six seven eight nine all right five minutes 30 seconds in almost there there you go, knock them out. Nine squats. Yeah. Good work. Hell yeah. Air five. Give it to, there you go. All right, grab a drink of water, walk around. Man, six minutes. That's a good one. 
with the 21-15-9, that round of 15 is the one that gets you. And then once you get to nine, I don't know if you all feel this, but it's like, well, shoot, I can do nine of whatever. Just bust through it. That round's super quick, but the 15 is like a mental barrier. All right, let's walk another lap. Let your heart rate come down. So today, lots of quad heavy work, the single leg squats. We did the air squats, so we want to really make sure we give some love to our quads, the front muscles on the thigh, because they work pretty, pretty hard, especially with those single leg squats. I don't know if y'all felt that, but my quads were feeling it. All right, so I'm going to just casually stare at the ocean. Hold on here. Whether you have a chair, door frame, whatever, grab the foot behind you you're able if that's tough what you can do is take a chair like this and get it up um, and that for some that's enough of a stretch and you can even go down a little bit if you want or we're going to grab that foot you're pushing the knee back think of driving your hip forward beautiful day in the neighborhood so th this is bald head island there's no the only cars here are like utility cars. So everyone just rides bikes or golf carts. So you see these golf carts that are like, they've got rims, speaker systems. They'll like put customized lights and all kinds of crazy stuff. It's kind of ridiculous. All right, let's switch sides. But it's, it's just kind of interesting because everything is made for golf carts. So the roads are real small. The driveways are small. The garages are small. There's like two restaurants on this place. Good. All right. Feet wide, real wide. Keep your knees straight. Just bend forward. Let your hands drag the ground. So I'm sure Jeff said last night he started his new job yesterday. So he's been doing all the fun computer training. And he's starting to see patients tomorrow, I think. Which I'm really excited about. We haven't talked much about his, his work situation, but his previous job, really, he couldn't unplug. He would have to be on his, have his phone nearby all the time. Just stand up, lean back, push your hips forward. But this new job, he'll be taking care of patients, but then his, his work will, will not follow him home or follow him into when he's doing Stronger Life. So he's gonna have a lot more bandwidth to, to give to Stronger Life for sure, which I'm grateful for. I'm sure y'all are too. Good, all right. Last thing, hands together, keep your feet wide. Just kind of push those elbows back. Let's do 10 on each side. Keep looking forward and your hips stay straight. Some nice cracks and pops in there. 20. Okay. Good work, y'all. Thanks for hanging out with me. That was a good workout. I'm going to go rinse off and go get my beers on ice and head to the beach. So, what we're doing now is tomorrow is normal. All right. So, 10 30 in the gym. And then Thursday will be same time, same Zoom link, same porch. And we'll do the workout virtually. And then Friday will be normal in the gym. All right. Good stuff. Y'all have a good one. Hit us up with any questions if y'all need anything. Otherwise, I'll see y'all Thursday. Take care.